here are all the colors for today they're all metallic i love them there are three kinds of gold we'll start there so this is this is liquitex basics gold this is arteza gold and that's deco arts extreme sheen 24k gold then i have two silvers as well this is blix silver and this is also blix silver but it's in their studio range then i have the rustoleum um color called champagne which i'm loving using at the moment and then there's copper by blick and also brass by blick and then down the front here I have an Extreme Sheen Garnet. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but I've got it ready in case I want to use it. And then this is a Pearl Metallic. And it's this one is mixed a little bit different to all the others in that it's like one part paint to three to four parts Floetrol with water in it. It's a slightly thicker than these. Um, these are all mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol and then about 0.4 parts water. And then I have a, a base colour, which is going to be black, which looks luscious. So let's go to the canvas. So I'm just going to lay all the colour down here and then blow it up and out. I find with the black Dutch pores that the black paint can swallow the colours up. This is a 24 inch by 48 inch canvas or 60 centimeters by 120 centimeters. I'm going to pour this way. There's some really cool cells happening in it. I want to try and bring out more. There was a lot of paint on there. So this is pretty it's got pretty cells through it all the top has pretty cells through it because the paint isn't super thick the paint's just a little thick down here i'm not loving the red I love it in here, but in here and here, I'm not loving it. So I'm just trying to work out what to do. There's great cells through here. So there's cells still coming up. So I'm trying not to touch it, just to allow things to really fall.
it's not that I don't like this. It's that, do I want more out of it? Part of me wants a little more out of it and I'm just trying to work out, can I do that? How do I do that? There are beautiful sections in it. I just brew a little bit of the black out here that down into it and I just think it adds some nice um, definition and good composition. So what I'm going to do is do something similar in here. I know that there's black paint down to about here and I'll do it in here too. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add little bits of extra black paint in here and blow it out to create a little more definition, a little more texture. You'll see what happens. What I have here is where the black is and there's just a little bit more definition with the black. But then you come here and the composition here is just not overly interesting. It gets interesting up here where the black is. So I'm going to keep adding black in. The ending I shot yesterday didn't record properly. So I'm back shooting it again today. You can see all the black that I added just adds to the composition of the whole painting, particularly down in this bottom section. It's just really wonderful what it did and look at these beautiful cells this is going across the top this is just really pretty colors throughout the whole painting it took some work to get this painting to where i really love it and sometimes you have to do that, particularly with the larger canvases, I find. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, hit that subscribe button. I'll show you some dried pictures of it up on the wall. And we'll see you next time. Don't hesitate to create. Bye.